back at you. This is Mr. Frog. Uh, check it out. Uh, you need to look at this because uh, this is the next step on our journey for Lunar Cardio. Uh, I know a lot of you, uh, if you're here, you're probably already uh, beyond this point. But we can't leave the others behind, so let's uh, bear with me. We'll go on to the next video if you already know about Adventure Studio and how to install it. Uh, if you guys need to know this, then pay attention. Here we go. We're here at the Ubuntu Studio website. Uh, HTTP UbuntuStudio.org Alright. Now, I suggest that if you're on the regular flavor of Ubuntu, you go ahead and you update your uh, your distro to the Ubuntu Studio devs if you want to create music with it. Um, and uh, if you're not on Ubuntu Studio, if you got a spare machine at home, that's you know like a P4 or above, you know P3, P4 or above. Um, if uh, if you already have one, but it's got plenty of space and all you have is Windows or some other operating system on it, and you want to um, go ahead and make a partition, that's a great thing. Uh, Linux installs are very very light on your hard drive space. This one right here that I'm working on, it has uh, every music, drawing, and uh, video application that's free software known to man installed on it. And I mean, it's only taken us about 10, 10 gigs. So, you know, the, a regular uh, Windows install with this much stuff on it will probably be more around uh, 50 to 60 gigs. And so, this is, it's, it's pretty cool. Now, uh, what I'd like to do is, well, Ubuntu Studio, though, is, is uh, great. Now, look, as I scroll down here, you can see. Uh, now, what it says is, you know, just download it, install it, and create. And it's not just for audio. It's for graphics and video, too. Now, you might think, well, I've already got some other Linux install. Why do I need Ubuntu Studio? Or you might even be thinking, I have Ubuntu. Why do I need Ubuntu Studio? Okay. Well, one of the big reasons is a real-time kernel. The way Linux is, is uh, go ahead, you learn how to do everything yourself, and you know, a lot of people, they uh, made all of this uh, software, and they decided that uh, if you were going to use it, you'd be using it with a real-time kernel. Well, to have a, you know, a real-time kernel, most of the time you would have had to made it yourself. And for me, that was more like you know learning how to build my own engine. You know, I don't care if I had instructions on how to do it. I, it was really something I didn't want to get into. But Ubuntu Studio has gone ahead and done that for you. So you've got a real-time kernel that doesn't mess with anything else inside uh, your operating system, which is cool. All right. So if you know, uh, I, I find it that it's a good, easy, one-stop shop for Ubuntu. Uh, if you want a Linux install, it probably wouldn't be the best idea to go to Jensen. I mean, you have to configure everything yourself there. Not my idea of a good time. All right. So really, um, we'll be following along with you in Ubuntu. Not to say that this won't, uh, these uh, videos won't be helping you out if you were in some other uh, Linux distro. But uh, for the purposes of ease, uh, we're going to be uh, checking out a bunch of studio. Okay. Now, you can see right here at the website, uh, you can go, you can click on download. Here at the download section, You can see that uh, there are a few uh, things you can download here. You can download, uh, you can pick a few download spots. You can download from uh, the Conical host, uh, the Joe Jack host, or uh, the Rexpron host. Any one of these hosts will give you the actual Ubuntu Studio uh, CD or DVD, excuse me. All right, now you can see at the time of this recording, we're on Ubuntu Studio Guts Key. Uh, 
DVDs. And, uh, you know, so let's just say we're going to go with download. Click download. And here we are. This is Ubuntu Studio 7.10 Guts of Gibbon. All right. Now, we have a few different uh, choices we can choose from. Most people were going to be uh, loading their uh, Ubuntu on their PC. You're either going to be loading up uh, your Ubuntu on a 64-bit machine or an i386 uh, machine. Okay. Either way, you know it'll work for you. Now you can load an i386 to x86 install on your 64-bit machine. But you're not going to be using all of your 64-bit uh, processor's power. Like uh, the install that I have, it's i36. I, I do that because, you know, drivers are a problem in Windows. I don't know about uh, Linux, and I just didn't want to go through any problems and have to reinstall all over again. 64-bit um, shouldn't be a problem, though. I hear it's not a problem. So you can go ahead and uh, download your 64-bit uh, install if you have a 64-bit machine, which is most people who bought new machines. And you can see right here that, uh, here we go, the Ubuntu Studio 7.10 Ultimate. It's uh, AMD 64 ISO. This is a Torrent. Here's the ISO. You can download the ISO. Uh, that takes about, I think, about half an hour if you've got a nice cable connection. You know, this right here, the Torrent might be faster, might be slower, depending on where you are and what type of current client you're using. Okay, and... Um, Cat score the 64 bit. It says AMD, but you can use it for Intel too. And there you go again. Here comes another one the i60, uh, the uh, i386 ISO or the i386 torrent. You don't have to worry about using the torrent. This is Linux. Nobody can say you're doing anything wrong. You're downloading Linux. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Linux is free, buddy. Alright. Now, uh, you go ahead and click on the one you want. And up it pops. There we go. There we go. You see, I'm trying to open up Ubuntu Studio 7.10 Ultimate i386 ISO. All right, it's a raw CD image, or it's a DVD image. And uh, I could burn it, <laughs> or I could save it to the disk. So I save it to the disk as I burn, you know, it's cool. Uh, please go use this, please go use this, please go use this. I'm not joking with you. Uh, go ahead and install it, and you know, everything will be cool. You will be working on the same page. All right. Like I said, you can install it. Even if you have Windows on your machine, all you need is about a good 20, 30 gigs free. If you got 20, 30 gigs free, you ready to install Ubuntu Studio right away and start working on it. Okay. Uh, one thing I would advise, though, is to leave a third partition for your audio. Um, uh, and I would go ahead and leave that third partition as... Um, Stat32. Stat32 would be better. Okay? Uh, that way both your uh, Linux partition and your Windows partition can get a hold of those files. Okay. Alright, now you just say okay and you let that um, uh, save to your desktop or something like that. And you're good to go. Next, we're going to talk about installing Ubuntu Studio onto your computer and getting it ready for audio.